Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics, really interesting challenge today and this looks like a pretty easy problem but many of you are going to get this wrong and you'll probably be a little bit shocked but don't panic, I'm going to fully explain you why you're probably going to get this wrong and how to avoid these particular mistakes. So well, let me go ahead and tell you the problem we have. So we have 90 plus 60 divided by 2. On the first side this is the easiest question you've ever seen because we have addition, we have division, so everyone learns this stuff in the third grade. So that's fantastic and right now go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section we have three options and choose one option what do you think is correct and let's check our answers here in just one minute it will be really interesting and of course we don't want to use our calculators let's use our super brain in our head and let's check our answers it will be really interesting just just trust me so here is our challenge here is our option choose one option what do you think is a correct and write your option down into the comment section so one part of students solve this question like that so we have 90 we have plus 60 divided by 2 and one part of students think that we should start from this addition so we, we go with 90 plus 60 which is equal to 150 150 and we have division by 2 and it looks like a correct answer is is 75. So one part of students say that the correct answer is 75, they choose option A and they go to the next to the next question. But we should understand that in terms of math we should know what is the correct order to do this problem. So we can't solve this question chaotically, we can't jump from left to right, we should know what is the correct order and then go. we should go through these orders, through the steps and we will check our answers and we will solve this of course correctly. And for this question we should know what is the correct order of operation. There are a lot of orders of operation but the most popular and uh, the most uh, usage order is PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. And let's check this answer with this PMDMC. We have this answer 75, so a lot of students solve this question like that. But right now let's solve this question according to PMDMC. So here is our question. We have 90 we have plus 60 and divided by 2. So here's our question and we have our order of operation. This is order of operation from the top to the bottom and the first step is, is parentheses. Let's scan where do we have this parentheses right here. Let's look at it. As for me, I don't see any parentheses, so we just we just skip this part. We don't have any parentheses, we just skip this part and it's great. What is the next step? The next step is exponent. Let's scan where do we have maybe exponents right here in our question. As for me, I don't see any exponents, so we just, we just skip this part also with these parentheses so we don't have parentheses part and we don't have exponent part which is really good for example if we have 60 to the power 12 or to the power 10 we should raise this and only then we should go to the next step we don't have powers we don't have exponents uh, we don't have parentheses and it's really good what is the next step the next step is multiplication and division group let's look at it where do we have multiplication and division signs right here we have addition sign we are not interested in this and right here we have division sign so we are interested in this expression but this division we apply only to these two numbers we have 60 divided by 2 which is really good for us and we don't have only multiplication we have division part at first and it's really great moment because as you can see right here before we add at first and right here we <coughs> we should divide at first it's really uh, it has a lot of differences with this solution and it's really good to to solve it according to PMDMC because according to PMDMC correct order is to start from this division and if we go further we have addition and subtraction yeah and addition is our first step yeah and subtraction we don't have any subtraction sign so we have only division and addition sign and division is all the time before uh, addition and a division all the time is before subtraction so multiplication and division group is all the time before addition and subtraction so we should divide at first the 60 divided by 2 so we have 90 plus 60 divided by 2 equal to equal to 30 and we have our answer our answer is 100 and 120 but with really interesting moment right here we don't have this option and then a lot of students goes back to this answer 75 and they say that the correct answer is 75 which is absolutely wrong in terms of math because we can't start from this addition which is really big mistake and really huge mistake in math because as you can see addition is all the time after division is all the time after multiplication so addition and subtraction all the time is after all of these steps so this is like a final step to add and subtract. 
So this is absolutely wrong solution with parentheses. This is good solution because we should start from this parentheses. This is, uh, this is our first step. Then parentheses is our first step and addition is before division because this is in parentheses. But in our case, we don't have any parentheses. So we just reject this option A, which is absolutely wrong for us. Our correct answer is 120. And let's look at the options. So right here we have option A, which is not the same. Option B is not the same. But what about this option C? We have five factorial. This is our last hope. We have five factorial. This is equal to a product from one, two, three, four, five. And let's check it. So right here we have two, two times three, we have six, six times four, we have 24 and 24 times five, we have 120. And it's really good because our correct answer hides right here. So we have option C, which is our correct answer. So according to PMDMC, our correct answer is 120. But according to this test, a correct answer is the yeah, correct answer is option. Option C is a correct answer. So let's write our answer is option, option C. So I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, you can just go through my YouTube channel. I have a ton of videos. So with that being said, I definitely wish all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.